Here are 10 important things that the Edgewonk Trading Journal will tell you about your trading. When you first log into your journal and you have entered some data, you will see things like the average winning trade, the average losing trade, your reward to risk ratio, the R multiple, profit factor, and of course also your win rate with a daily calendar. But there's so much more to Edgewonk. When you go to the chart lab and select performance by setup, you will get a breakdown of all of your trading strategies. So every trade that you take and enter to Edgewonk, you can tag it with a specific strategy or setup. And then you can get different breakdowns of the different strategies so that you know which one is performing best, which one is underperforming. And then you can dig deeper. You can find out ways how you can take more of the trades that are already working and you can work on the ones that are underperforming. The performance by time chart breaks down your trading performance by the weekday. Some traders will notice that specific trading days are performing better there for them than others. This is very helpful. For a day trader, it is also really helpful to break down your trading sessions by the hour of the day so you can see which hours of the day are performing best. Especially day traders will benefit from such an insight. The performance by instrument chart shows you the breakdown of your trading performance by the, all of the instruments that you have traded in your trading journal. You can very nicely see which ones are performing best, which ones are underperforming. Hovering over the specific bars give you a little bit of information. An underperforming instrument doesn't necessarily mean that you should stop trading this instrument, but there could be ways how you can improve your performance by using the other features in Edgewonk. One very helpful thing is that when you open the filters here at the top, you can also apply different filters to the different tabs as you go through Edgewonk. For example, here is the filter for the instruments that you have traded. So when you go through your different tabs in Edgewonk and you want to analyze your performance and find out why the specific instruments such as the HK50 or the US dollar yen are not performing as well and find ways how you can improve that, you could use the filters here at the top to drill in deeper into the different features and to get more detailed breakdowns and insights. Many traders struggling with managing their trades and making good in-trade decisions. Often traders cut their winning trades too short or they exit their losers too late. The trade management graph analyzes your trade management and in-trading decisions. Especially you want to compare the actual performance to the potential performance. In this case, the actual performance is well above the potential performance. This is great because it shows that the trader is making good, profitable in-trade decisions. If you spot that your potential performance graph is above your actual performance, it means that you're mismanaging your trades. Typically, this is due to cutting your winners too early before they hit your take profit or getting out of your losses too late. The exit analysis graph visualizes your trades. Every trade has a separate bar in your Edgewonk trading journal. The green bar shows how much has the price moved into your favor and the red bar shows how much the price moved against you during your trade. The green horizontal line represents your take profit on your trades. The red horizontal line represents your stop loss on your trades. And then you can analyze how far on average is the price coming close to your stop loss. If you see, for example, that the price has a hard time reaching your stop loss and is never even coming close to your stop loss, you might have some room for improvement here. And by setting your stop loss a little bit closer, you could potentially improve your reward to risk ratio. The black marker on the trades shows you where you got out of your trade. So you can very nicely visualize how close to your take profit did you get out? Did you catch the highest price or could you have made more money on your trades? Edgewonk has a lot of great metrics and shows you a lot of performance statistics, but Edgewonk also shows you how well you are trading with respect to breaking your rules, adhering to your rules, and where are your biggest problems with your execution. So for every trade in Edgewonk, you can rate your entry, your exit, and your in-trade decisions. And then you will get something like the tilt meter. A green tilt meter shows that you have repeatedly made good trading decisions on your trade. Here, when we see a red tilt meter, it shows you that you have broken your trading rules. And this helps you get into the process-oriented mindset instead of only living with the performance-oriented mindset. The process-oriented mindset helps you focus on your trading decisions. How did you make your trading decisions? And it puts the focus a little bit away from only looking at the pure profit or loss. And this can then help you understand how well on average you are executing your trades. Are you breaking your rules mostly or are you adhering to your rules? And of course, you can then also visualize your trading decisions. For example, when we look at your trade entries, you can see the difference between taking a good entry versus how much you're losing when you take late entries or impulsive entries. And you can do the same for the exit and also the trade management, and you can completely customize it. You can add your own reasons for exiting, entering, and managing your trades so that Edgewonk becomes completely customized to your own trading. But there are so many more customization options in Edgewonk. For example, we have something that we call the custom statistics. 
In Edgewonk, you can create many different custom statistics and then tag your specific trades. For example, in this trading journal, the trader chose to tag the time frame that each trade was taken on. And then you can visualize the different time frames and the performance. Here, for example, you can see that the higher time frames, 4 hour and daily, are not performing great. And the trader seems to have an edge on the lower time frames, which are overperforming significantly. And there are no limits with the custom statistics. You can track confluence factors. If you're a pattern trader, you can add your different patterns and then tag your trades. But you can also go into the mental and the mindset side and you can track your mental status or your preparation. How did you feel? And then you can see how this is impacting your trading performance to learn about yourself, but also about the performance of your mental game. And then we have something that we call the trade analytics that allow you to dive very deeply into your trading performance. For example, let's break it down by your trading setups. And then you get a performance breakdown by all of the setups and the strategies that you're trading. You can see things like the average win rate per system. You can see the expectancy, which is the average value per trade. You get a total sum. You see the profit factor, the average are multiple, the sum of the are multiple. You see your winning and your losing streaks. You see the average drawdown on your trade, how much the price is moving against you and in your favor with the MAE and the MFE. You'll see the fees that you have paid and there are many ways how you can use the custom statistics. You can visualize, for example, also the custom statistics here. As we've talked about the timeframes, you can get a very detailed breakdown by the different trading timeframes and then also get the same numbers and statistics on your timeframes that you are trading. And there's so much more to Edgewonk. We do provide a lot of statistics and performance based metrics that help you analyze your trading. But we also have things like our diary where you have a notebook that you can use to enter your trading plans. You can capture your lessons that you have learned. You can just write down and use it as a written diary. And there are many ways how you can integrate a written diary with your performance diary. We also have a strategy lab where you can test different approaches to your trading strategy. We have a back tester that helps you capture your back testing results. We have a simulator that takes your current performance and then runs it into the future for 500 trades. And then you can analyze that to gain insights about potential losing streaks, winning streaks and account volatility. If at any point in time you have a question about a specific feature in Edgewonk, we have created an extensive library with a lot of videos and helpful articles. So every feature that you're on has a blue icon here at the top. And clicking this brings you to our FAQ page that will further explain the different features. And you'll find this across all of the different features in Edgewonk. So whenever you have questions, you just click on the blue icon and then you get help. We also have a free journaling course. So especially in the beginning, when you are new to using Edgewonk, we recommend to go through our free course. Just click here on the top right under account and then here under journaling course, this will then take you to our website where you have this specific course with over 15 lessons, a lot of videos and helpful step-by-step -step guides.